NKC Art. Okay, um, go ahead and get out your mittens from last week that you are working on. Uh, last week we drew our mittens, the line they were hanging on, we outlined them and we colored them in marker. Today we're going to be adding a background. I'm going to do one pattern up here at the top and one at the bottom. You can choose any shapes or whatever you want to choose for your patterns. Um, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. For the top, I think I'm going to add some hearts for my background. So I'm just going to draw my hearts in up here. And then at the bottom, I think I'm going to do some nice big polka dots for my background. After I'm done drawing it in pencil, I'm just going to go back and trace it with my black Sharpie or my black marker so that those shapes, that nice pattern stands out once I color it in. And today we're gonna to be using crayons instead of markers, just to kind of give it a different look in the background. And so the gloves stick out a little bit with that nice bright marker. After I've traced my two patterns that I've chose, I'm going to get my crayons and I'm going to go ahead and color them in. When I color in the, the pattern part, um, I'm going to push a little bit harder on my crayon to make it a nice, nice dark color. Um, and then when I go to color in the background, I'm going to use just a little bit of pressure. I'm not going to push down as hard on it so that I can make the crayon lighter than my shapes for my pattern. So I've colored in my heart green, and I think for the background, I'm gonna do purple. So all I'm gonna do is take my crayon, and I'm not gonna hold it like this or this, like you would regularly hold a crayon. I'm just gonna kinda of hold it with my fingers like this to the side, and just use the side of my crayon and lightly just kinda of fill in back and forth around my hearts down to my line because I'm going to have my bottom half be a different color and that line's just going to kind of separate it right there in the middle. After I fill in my color, like I said, I'm just kind of going back and forth using my arm to just kind of brush in that color a little bit, nice and light. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom of my picture. Again, I'm going to push really hard with my crayon to give it a much darker color that stands out a little bit better. And when I'm done, I'm going to do the same thing with my background. I'm going to fill it in nice and light using like a sideways, side, sideways sweep motion, I guess you can call it. So I'm going to choose my last color. I think I'm going to choose red. And like I said, I'm just going to hold it sideways and just lightly color it back and forth all the way back up to my line. Now with this crayon, if you get it on your mittens, you'll probably see it a little bit. So try to not go over the lines the best you can. It's a little hard when you're just kind of doing this back and forth motion like this. Uh, if you go a little bit slower than I am, it, it helps a little bit to keep it from getting on top of your other shapes or your mittens. And once you're done, oops, pushed a little hard there, that, that's okay. Once you're done, um, this is about what it should look like. Make sure you take a picture of your final work and send it to me on Canvas. I'd love to see it.